Scarcity and alternatives are important concepts to know in the world of economics. Understanding these concepts can help you make the right decisions and can increase your human capital. Today, we will be observing the choices of two individuals. This is Zach. He is fresh out of college and wants to live on his own. However, he doesn't know how his credit card works and is very carefree with spending his money to get whatever he desires. And this is his best friend, John. He is also fresh out of college and wants to live on his own. Unlike Zach, he understands economic reasoning and scarcity and knows how to effectively use his scarce resources. I want this, where's $10,000? And I'll just get it. Hey, this apartment looks nice. One bed, one bath, and... What? It's so expensive! Never mind. Okay, let's see what this one has. Ooh, that's a fairly reasonable price. Hey, if I get this one, I can save some money for other things I need later. Look at this car right here. Look at the ribs. So nice ribs. The, the carbon fiber in the front, the frame, the body of the car. And for only $20,000, brand new sports car. What's the mileage on this? About 25,000. That's nice, that's not bad. And here, a cheaper model of a sports car, about $12,000. And now I would want the other one. Here, we have a brand new 2018 Subaru. The Subaru is actually good on gas and mileage. It will save you a lot of money and a lot of time. Oh, how much is it? 5,000. It's a little bit on the cheaper side, but it is higher quality. I'll try and see if I can find something else. Okay, so this Subaru is actually the more pricier one. It actually, um, price stands at 20,000, um, but that's only because it's actually a 2019. Um, in fact, all honesty, I actually prefer this one versus that one. I think I'd rather get the 5,000 one. I'd rather save my money and spend it for something else I can save later. Well, you can always have that as an alternate route. I'll get the 5,000. Okay. Now that we've seen their spending habits, let's recap. Because Zach didn't understand scarcity and alternatives, he spent his money based on his wants rather than what he could afford. For example, he bought the more expensive car and apartment because they just looked nice rather than caring about the price. On the other hand, John looked for what he could afford rather than prioritizing what he wants. For example, he didn't buy things that he couldn't afford because he wanted to save money in case he needed it in the future. Each of their scenarios had two options. Zach chose the more expensive options and John chose the cheaper alternative. It seems like John is having fun somewhere. Let's check on him. Thanks to my economic understanding of scarcity and alternatives, I got to Disneyland. Yeah. Where's my friend Zach? 